the heading is electric electric field intensity which is denoted by E vector which is denoted by E vector ok so let us first denote uh, define this uh, electric field intensity and this will be defined by using the same concept uh, which is Coulomb's law ok so let us see how we are going to define that so to define this electric field intensity let us take the same concept of Coulomb's law here you take a positive charge let us say this is plus Q or Q1 we know that this is going to give us flux or we can say these are the force lines which are emanating or which are coming out in all the directions like this ok these are the force lines or flux lines which are coming out radially in all the directions ok so if you assume this is like a spherical structure ok so it is like a sphere which is radiating the field in all the directions equally ok so this is plus Q or plus Q1 ok which is uh, giving us the force lines or flux lines or the field lines in all the directions not only in this two dimensional it is giving us like this like this like this going inside like this like this everywhere ok the field lines are coming out ok now from the Coulomb's law itself from the Coulomb's law itself if we bring another charge instead of calling this as charge Q2 ok let us call this as some test charge QT which is also a positive point charge which is also a positive point charge ok so now what is the force between these two charges what is the force between these two charges it is charge Q1 and it is a test charge ok so instead of taking the two charges I am taking like a field is there ok and uh, this is exerting some force on this and this is also exerting the force on this we are going to find out the force of attraction or repulsion there is definitely the repulsion of force between them between Q1 and QT which is expressed as let us denote that force is by F1T vector because 1 is the charge which is responsible for this field and T is the test charge which is always equal to if it is in free space it is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 QT by R square and its direction let us say either A1T vector or because of it is radial direction we can also call it as AR vector. So F1T is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into Q1 QT by R square AR vector. This is what is the expression that we get from the Coulomb's law. Now by using this Coulomb's law how can we get the definition of electric field intensity? Electric field intensity is defined as the force per unit charge. This is what is the definition that we have seen earlier classes. Okay, but this is going to be slightly modified here. Okay, the force exerted by a charge on a one coulomb charge is defined as the electric field intensity. So previously it was defined as force per unit charge that itself is modified as force exerted by a charge Q1 on one coulomb of charge that means this test charge here will be equivalent to one coulomb of charge you make this charge is equal to one coulomb of charge or you take a one coulomb of charge here and try to find out the force exerted by this Q1 on that one coulomb of charge and that is called as the electric field intensity that means you make this QT which is the test charge there you bring this to the left hand side that is F1T vector by this QT which is now equal to Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught R square AR and this force per unit charge so this force per unit charge this QT must be made as 1 coulomb of charge which is equal to Q1 by 4 pi 
epsilon naught r square a r vector and this force per unit charge is called as the electric field intensity E and if this Q1 is considered as charge Q then this will be simply Q by 4 pi epsilon naught r square a r. This is how we are going to find out or we are going to define the electric field intensity from Coulomb's law itself. Cool. Electric field intensity is not a separate entity, it is nothing but the force between two charges. It is obtained from this, it is like a Coulomb's law, but in Coulomb's law we take two charges Q1 and Q2, but in electric field intensity we take two charges, one is Q and other is a one Coulomb of charge. Okay, The force exerted by that Q on that one Coulomb of charge is nothing but the electric field intensity. Okay, It is also the force, but force exerted by this charge Q on one Coulomb of charge is called as the electric field intensity. So its units will be here, this is E, so our force per unit charge, so force units are Newtons and charge units are Coulombs, so the units of this is uh, Newtons per Coulombs or this is also expressed as volt per meter, okay, this we are going to get afterwards, okay, so the most frequently used uh, unit of electric field intensity is volt per meter, we don't use generally Newton per Coulomb even though it is uh, obtained from the definition itself but we use uh, the limit volt per meter okay for the units of electric field intensity so this is uh, uh, the definition of electric field intensity again i'm repeating electric field intensity is defined as the force exerted by a charge q on one coulomb of charge okay is defined as the electric field intensity or simply force per unit charge is also defined as the electric field intensity so if you suppose uh, move this one coulomb of charge around this uh, place okay because this distance and this distance is same because you are assuming a spherical structure here this one coulomb of charge if you bring it here the electric field intensity here also same the electric field intensity here also same if you rotate uh, around that so everywhere the electric field intensity will be same because the distance of that sphere from the center is always same okay so this is how around this entire sphere the electric field intensity at each and every place will be same for this but if you bring this if you try to find out the electric field intensity here how can you find out electric field intensity here by taking a one coulomb of charge there and try to find out the force exerted by this q1 or q on this one coulomb of charge here the distance r will be smaller compared with this so the electric field intensity here if it is suppose uh, e1 and if it is suppose this is e2 then e1 will be definitely greater than e2 because e is inversely proportional with r square so that means if r decreases e will be increasing and if r increases e will be decreasing that means if you take outside r is increasing so here the electric field intensity suppose e2 or e3 and if it is e2 e2 will be e3 will be smaller than e2 so this is how we are going to find out the electric field intensity so whenever in any field if you want to measure the electric field intensity at any point you just place one coulomb of charge there and find out the force exerted by that charge which is responsible for that field on that one coulomb of charge will give us the electric field intensity at that point so the note is the to find out the electric field intensity at any point in in a in an electric field whether it is okay inside what you are taking or outside what you are taking okay just place one coulomb of charge there and try to find out the force exerted by that charge on that one coulomb of charge will always give us the electric field uh, intensity this is how we are going to find out the electric field intensity similarly we are also going to find out because our problems are based on not this problem here also, here also we are going to find out the electric field intensity on a single charge due to system of charges. That means at that charge we place one coulomb of charge and we take the system of charges and we will find out the electric field intensity on that one coulomb of charge due to system of charges. This is what we are going to see next. That is E due to n number of charges or E due to system of charges. This is the next heading that we are going to see. E due to n 
n number of charges or system of charges. E due to n number of charges. So how do we find out that? So let us take again some number of charges. Okay, let's say this is Q1, this is Q2, this is Q3, Q4, so on, Qn and there is a charge which is not represented with any charge because that should be a one coulomb of charge. Let's say this is at point P. Okay, here we require the total electric field intensity due to all these charges. Similarly, the way we have defined the calculated the force, we have to find out the electric field intensity also, just draw these lines and uh, join these lines, join these lines, okay, so after joining all the lines, okay, at this point P you need to find out the electric field intensity there, one coulomb of charge is there, so the electric field intensity at this one coulomb of charge due to Q1 is represented as E1 okay and the distance between them is R1 and the unit vector in that direction will be AR1 and the distance from here to here is R2 vector position vector and the unit vector will be AR2 and distance is R3 and unit vector is AR3 and distance vector is R4 and AR4 it is, this is RN, okay, and it is ARN, okay. So now by using superposition principle again, by using superposition principle, the electric field intensity at point P due to Q1, Q2, Q3, so on, Qn is, this is equal to E at point P is the total electric field intensity which is equal to E due to charge Q1, okay, at this uh, one coulomb of charge and E due to Q2 which is represented as E2 and next uh, E due to Q3, okay, and uh, last E due to E nth charge, okay, so this is how we are going to uh, find out E at point P due to n number of charges by using superposition principle. So now E1 is expressed as E equal to Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R square AR but E1 is is due to Q1 so E1 is the electric field intensity at this point P due to Q1 so this is expressed as Q1 by 4 pi epsilon naught the distance is because we have assumed it as capital R, R1 so capital R1 square into the unit vector direction is AR1 plus Q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught the distance is R2 square and AR2 plus so on plus last charge is Qn by 4 pi epsilon naught Rn square ARN. So what is common in this is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is only common so that you take it common and sigma i equal to 1 to n so this q1 q2 is represented as qi and this is ri square and this is uh, ari will be the expression for the electric field intensity at this uh, point p due to system of charges or a number of charges, okay. Most of your problems will be based on this uh, uh, E at a point due to n number of charges itself, okay. The way we do the problems on force, okay, same way we have to do the problems on electric field intensity also, okay. So this is how, okay, we are going to uh, find the electric field intensity due to n number of charges and that previous one what we have calculated is E due to A point charge. The point charge is Q, okay, so E due to A point charge is Q by 4 pi epsilon naught R square, AR vector, AR is the direction of the electric field intensity and its units are Newtons per coulombs, R volt per meter and this one is uh, the electric field intensity due to 
n number of charges r system of charges okay so next we are going to start uh, the different types of uh, charge distributions and e due to infinite line charge and e due to infinite sheet of charge okay and uh, many other concepts